Hi right, guys, so we are here at Café de Arte and we have somebody that has returned again from Costa Rica. How are you, Bosco? Todo bien? I'm doing great as always. Bob. Awesome. Uh, well, uh, so as you remember, we did a video a year ago and I think we were sitting here yeah. or right behind us. Uh, yes, it was behind us. I just remember by the uh, es escalator. So exactly. we were sitting right there where the ladies are sitting right now. And uh, we were just talking about, you know, is it safe to travel to Nicaragua? We talked a little bit about the COVID issue, et cetera. Exactly. So now we're at post-COVID. So, number one, what brought you back home? That's a good question, Paul. Thank you Thank again you. for your time. Uh, well, you know, I came back here a year ago, you know, because I wanted to like kind of see how was the situation with COVID. Now we're post-COVID. And I wanted to, you know, come back and see how the things are going, you know what I mean? So far, I mean, it's amazing. It's even better than last year. And I'm so excited about seeing that the tourism is going up. I see investors coming to Nicaragua as well. So that means things are getting better and I'm excited about it. Right. So things are getting better because people perceive a better environment to do investment. We have talked about one of your uh, friends and uh, let's say indirect client where you yep. used to work for we don't want to name names yeah, but that's correct. he uh, did a big investment exactly. here in Granada exactly. and uh, he from what we were discussing a little bit ago he's continuing his desire to invest which again for people like myself exactly. and you and others in tourism and just in general, it's very good for us. It is, actually, right? without a doubt, I was surprised to see him again. That was like two days ago, right. from this moment that we're talking, you know, and I was surprised because he left Nicaragua, but now he's back here, right. and he advised me that he's got a big, you know, a plan for his investment. Right. So seeing him back from the U.S. to here, that's a good time. Right, yeah, you know? it's good, good, yeah. So what what is your feeling now that you have been Again, an, an extra year in Costa Rica. You work in Costa Rica. You Correct. live in Costa Rica. Uh, now that you see Nicaragua a year later, what's your feeling? You know, well, mm, that's a good question. I would like to, to describe it the, the, the following way. First off, safety. Uh, I mean, I feel very secure to be here. No problems at all. Okay. Uh, secondly, people is always nice. Right. All right. And, and the second thing is that, or third thing I would say, is that it is a good time to invest. I right. wish I could have the amount of money required right. to buy a piece of property because I think this is the moment, the, the right moment to buy. You right. know, because, yeah. Right. Well, and then for a person like you, I, I can be a little bit uh, on the opposite side. You're still not ready to come home because really there are no job opportunities mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. people and what we, I would call uh, professionals that mm -hmm. are looking for specific jobs and that is still the case I perceive for you. It is. Uh, yeah. However, let me tell you this Paul, I've met a lot of people who work for different companies from the US right. and they're working from here. Right. So you know the chance, the opportunity here in Nicaragua is that there are people working from home right. and they're coming down here to work even though you know, they have a, a local office. So that's something that, you know, I would, I would like you to have, you know, to pay attention to. Right, right. Well, we are, we are. We, we see that, especially with the call centers yeah. and people, what we call back office, BPO, exactly. uh, and things like that. So that we are seeing. So when you look at Costa Rica, we talked a little bit about this, and Nicaragua, we were talking a, lo a little bit about the cost of living mm. and uh, the the image that Nicaragua has uh, mm -hmm, back, mm -hmm. let's say, outside of Nicaragua and the perception yep. of people. And I think what you said was a, a very good point uh, that doing these type of videos mm -hmm. really helps improve that perception, yep. especially when it comes from a Nicaraguense exactly. like yourself. Exactly. Not from me, because you know, <laughs> people don't listen to me always. Exactly. <laughs> So yeah. tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, exactly. That. That's, that's a good one. You know, people have the wrong perception because of the news. They're showing you the negative side of, right. of, the, of the truth. Right, right. You know, but if, if where everything would be negative, as they say, I wouldn't be here. My friend who's invested back again yeah. in the crowd right. wouldn't be here. Right. You know, so we need to clear that out. 
of course, like in every every country, there are issues. You right. know what I mean? Right. right. But in Nicaragua, you know, it's safe. It's good. Good times for investment. You know, you only need to come down here, and you'll see that it's really good. Yeah, yeah. And people need to take advantage, and people need to know the truth that it is also good things happening in Nicaragua now. Well, uh, and you can see the good things that are happening. For example. I was doing a video this morning about the road between Catarina mm -hmm. to uh, Granada yeah. Yeah. and the big stretch between Catarina de Riomo towards uh, Guanacaste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a four lane now. Uh, it's a pity they took away right. the beautiful trees, but you know, it's a four lane highway. That's a big investment. Exactly. And, and it, it does help tourism. Now, as you know, I went to Costa Rica already three times this year. And my God, those roads. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how I, know, I felt I know, about it. I know. <laughs> but you drove in from San Jose with uh, Tika Bus, right? That's correct. So how was that travel? Oh, man. <laughs> bumpy road. Yeah. Bumpy road. I want to describe it that way. Yeah. But in here, I'm very surprised that even though, you know, COVID before and after, yeah. the infrastructure in, this, in Nicaragua is getting just better, as you mentioned. Improving. Mention. Yes, yes. Improving yeah. like, wow, yeah. amazing. I'm yeah. surprised to see like the roads smooth yeah. flat perfect yeah, yeah yeah and now you see what the alcaldia is doing here in oh, calle la calzada yeah. they told me so, about it yeah yeah so wow. we we are doing lots of investment or exactly. i shouldn't say we but uh, uh both the investors like your friend and ourselves and others we're all looking and investing in Very stuff true. like that so uh anything else you want to add as you we know, end? I would like just people, you know, from different uh, parts of the world to know that, you know, it is a good time to invest in Nicaragua. It is safe. Of course, there are things to, to, to improve, you know, but that happens in every country. And uh, I just want you to know that to spread the word, Nicaragua is a good, you know, place. And this is the right moment to invest and come to visit. If you come to visit, you're going to get surprised just like me. Yeah. Okay, I really uh, appreciate uh, the time. And as you can see, we are here in Café de Arte. And right there in the back, you can see Amy uh, and ha that has a few people doing some art classes. And you know, we are very, very close to this place. So I wanna thank you again for your time. Safe travels back home. And I thank hope you. to see you in October when we're down in yes, Costa Rica. Sir. It's my turn. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Thank you.